Well, hello folks. Here we are again with another teeny tiny technical exposition from a no SLLC. That is we. Today we're going to show you uh, just a little bit about the uh, barn door project which we recently completed using the scrap left over from an earlier project making our headboard. Um, so it didn't cost a whole lot of money for the basic materials although we certainly did spend some money to get some of the other supporting materials. Um, but uh, this video is just a kind of an overview, try to keep it short. Um, we don't show you how we constructed the door itself, that will be a separate video. And also the um, uh, rolling hardware that uh, we decided to use, uh, also another video. Just want to show you uh, what the thing looks like here and kind of how it moves around on the track. So here's a uh, JPEG of the barn door slid all the way over to the right side of the track. It's an eight foot track for a four foot opening. You can see that uh, we've tried to match the general pattern of the um, headboard that uh, we showed you in a previous video. So it kind of looks like that. It's um, much thinner um, and it also has a um, plastic backing as I'll show you here in just a second. And here it is uh, slid all the way over to the closed position. Um, you can't tell from this photo but uh, in the video clip that I'm going to add to this video you'll be able to see that um, light does come through from the back if the uh, bathroom lights are turned on. And uh, here's a shot from the uh, inside the bathroom looking out uh, into the bedroom with the, all the windows open in the bedroom so you can see the light coming through. So it gives you um, kind of a blurry image if you get up really, really close to the uh, plastic, um, but uh, you can't actually see anything. So it's kind of a privacy screen actually, doesn't do much else, doesn't cut down the sound, um, and it doesn't really lock tight up against the wall, so it's not like a complete heat barrier, but uh, it does look kind of interesting. and seems to be really popular right now, which is partly the reason why we did it stay up with the popularity. And here's the uh, first of the video clips I told you about. It's not actually a magic door. If, if you look carefully you can see me trying to hide behind the, uh, the door. Um, I've been doing videos for a long time, been teaching for a long time. I don't really particularly don't want to be in any of my videos anymore. But you can see me kind of uh, trying to make this thing open. Um, so I can show you how it moves. I'll show you the other piece from the other side here in the next little piece of clip. And so if you watch carefully in this next little uh, short uh, piece from the inside, you can probably see my hand moving the uh, screen again. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't quite tell from the little tiny piece of the monitor I'm looking at right now. don't know that I saw it that time. And the final little video clip here is a um, close-up of the roller running on the stainless steel bar and it uh, also shows you the uh, standoffs or the hold up, hold ups to hold up the uh, bar itself. Um, I really wanted something more modern looking than the standard kind of black steel thing so I went with this particular model it was $140, $150, but I really like it. It works really well, um, and it looks pretty good, I think. And uh, finally, here's a few more JPEGs to uh, show you some of the detail, uh, where the rollers are uh, situated on the door and the track uh, hardware. The um, instruction sheet shows that these things are uh, the standouts or the holdups for the bar are supposed to be uh, at uh, regular intervals. There's actually supposed to be six. I could only use five uh, because um, the studs on this particular wall don't uh, don't match 16 on center and it's because I think this arched doorway and on the other side of the wall there's another arch and in inset and it throw, uh, throws everything off so I didn't get the uh, hold ups uh, evenly balanced. Uh, I don't think it shows up too much. Nobody's mentioned it so far. So here's, uh, as I said, some more photos uh, showing some of the details of the uh, actual matrix. 
Now I toyed with the idea of using a header board, uh, which is what normally you would do if you want the uh, the uh, standouts or the holdouts or whatever they call these things, little mounting brackets, um, visually evenly spaced. But I really didn't want to put a um, header bar up there because I've got the crown molding I put up years and years and years ago and it would certainly clash with that. So um, here's a, this uh, little photo shows you that uh, the spacing between the uh, brackets, the mounting brackets, are just not even. But uh, like I said, so far nobody's noticed it. I've had a few people look at this, so apparently it'll be okay. And uh, here's a close-up of the matrix and the thing. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Uh, I can't tell here because my monitor uh, is so small. But uh, I had to use four uh, plastic um, sheets to um, cover the back of this thing. And right in the center between the two horizontal wooden strips, you can just make out where the two pieces of plastic meet. Um, unless you get really close, you can't quite tell. Uh, that it's not one solid piece in the back. Well, at least, once again, nobody has mentioned that unless I point it out to them. And finally, here's a close-up of the matrix itself. Um, if you look carefully, you can see that both the horizontal and vertical bars are uh, inset against each other. So I had to dado plow every one of these things at every intersection um, in order to get them to lock together. I go into great detail in the uh, video of uh, how we constructed this thing. So if you're interested in uh, how that was done, go look at that video. Certainly a lot longer than this one though. And uh, one final little JPEG. This is the gap between the door and the wall. Now all the instructions, if you if you watch any of the videos, anybody putting in one of these barn doors, they always tell you you need to put this um, guide on the floor, either screwed down to a wooden floor or screwed down into masonry floor. Well, we have a uh, new uh, masonry tile floor. It looks like wood, but um, I wouldn't do that. So I built a little uh, wheel um, and f fixed it to the bottom back side of the door so that uh, it actually rolls against the um, baseboard and holds the door out away from the wall. Now, it can swing out a little further, of course, but uh, it doesn't. So works pretty well, and I didn't have to drill any holes in my floor. Don't have a, a picture of that, though, unfortunately. So there's our barn door story, and I'm sticking with it. Um, if you're uh, more interested in uh, the actual construction, how we put this thing together, I suggest uh, you go look at our other two videos associated with this. Um, I think they're extensive enough that you could get a pretty good idea how to do one of these if you have the tools because you definitely need a lot of tools to do it. So thanks for watching. 10-4 uh, Roger Rubber Ducky over and out. Um, keep watching our channel. I'm sure I'll have something else coming up here shortly. As a matter of fact, I think um, today we're going to go out and construct some more uh, trellises out of um, PVC tubing. We've already done several of those, and I have a bunch of PVC tubing left over to uh, construct a few more. So, thanks for watching.